my broadcast partner, Nestor Lecanto. Ness, we here at KUM, your extended family, hope you have an absolutely fantastic birthday. And now, let's go do that election thing. <laughs> so everyone who has a birthday on Saturday or Sunday, we hope you have a fantastic island weekend. Now, I know everybody out there is a big Nestor Lecanto fan. You, you know he's a wonderful human being, real, real stand-up gentleman. He's also very, very generous, one of the most giving people I know. So I know when we get him that cake, everybody's going to get some, and that's what makes Nestor awesome. So, Ness, happy birthday once again. All right, that is going to do it for our show. Thank you so much for watching. Please, everyone, stay safe and be excellent to each other. On Guam. KUEM News, winner of the 2022 Regional Edward R. Murrow Award for Excellence in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the Culture Club. Hello everyone and good evening. Welcome to KM News' live coverage of the 2022 primary election. Throughout the night and until the last vote is tabulated, Team KOAM, of course, will be providing you live coverage. Our team coverage will be powered tonight by Docomo Pacific, and our team is posted at different sites throughout the island, including Nick Delgado reporting live from Election Central at UOG. Hannah Devonzo and Daniel Perez are standing by and roving to interview candidates at campaign headquarters, and Tomas Manglonia is posted in our digital center, and Jason Salas and I will be joining you live right here from our Harmon Studios. We've also assembled a diverse group of analysts to give you their takes on how the results and the outcomes and analyze the results. A decision 2022 primary election night political analysts include Ginger Cruz, Lou and Josh campaign advisor, Sean Gumatauto, senior advisor for the Camacho Ada campaign, Juan Carlos Benitez, Guam Republican Party chairman, Dr. Robert Underwood, former Democrat congressional delegate, Tony Babata, Guam Democratic Party chairman, Bobby Shringy, Guam Republican Party executive director, Regine Bisco Lee, former Democrat senator, and of course, Dr. Ron McNinch, UOG professor, who will be with us all night long. And of course, the polls close at 8 p.m. and now we anxiously await uh, throughout the primary election. Our Nick Delgado is standing by at Election Central at the UOG Calvo Fieldhouse. It's over to you, Nick. Hey, Ness. Yeah, it's been a primary election to watch, that's for sure. Here at the Election Return Center at UOG Fieldhouse in Mandilao, we saw the buses rolling in just moments ago, each one marked with the village of the districts that they were coming from, and the volunteers, of course, and police at the ready, watching as each of those ballot boxes were taken off those those buses and rolled in here to the Election Return Center. And who better to speak with about how this is all going to go down tonight as we bring you the exclusive coverage is Maria Pangolinan, the executive director for the Guam Election Commission. Half a day, Ms. Pangolinan. Half a day, Nick. Finally made it to primary day. Yes, yes. Uh, one more step, you know. So, uh, that, uh, precincts closed at 8 o'clock. And the f I think the first bus that rolled in was right before 8.40 maybe. And so we're thinking maybe it's going to be an early night, but maybe not. We'll see. Early night, hopefully, for everyone, because <laughs> they just want to start seeing those results come yes. in. But something that was interesting, Maria, is that we saw more people registering to get involved in the election process, this primary, uh, more than, uh, was it 58,000 registered voters to date? Did we see an increase when it comes to those voters who turned out today? Well, because it's a bigger pot, because there are more voter um, because there are more registered voters, probably the percentage of our voter participation will probably go down. Um, I've heard anywhere, t tonight I've heard, anywhere between 32 to 50 some percent. Uh, not ours, not GECs, but that's what we're hearing. Um, so, you know, as, um, as the registration numbers increase, I kind of like to look at the real numbers, uh, how many people actually voted, and compare it throughout the years. Okay. 
And we'll probably get to see those once we start to rec uh, reconcile uh, all these all these ballots over here. You have dozens of, of people here as well on the other end of the university uh, going through each of the ballot process. What's going on? They are counting the cast ballots. This is what we're waiting for. Um, at the precinct, they, must, they should have counted the unused ballots and the spoiled ballots. Here, they'll, uh, we open the ballot boxes for them, and we're counting the cast ballots. So we'll see how many people voted, and we'll see who they voted for. It's been about two and a half hours now since the polls closed this primary day. When can we see the first batch of results? Hard for me to tell, but you know, the, we just saw the first precinct clear out. So let's see, let's make, 